welcome back to my channel and thank you for clicking on today's video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Haley. Thank you for stopping by. Today I am doing a vlog and I am going to be doing a bit of a makeover of my office situation in my bedroom. So I will tell you guys in a second why I am doing this. I wanted to film some videos today and I wasn't 100% sure what I should film, but I had this task on my mind for the past week. And you guys know me, I like to have a very serene, calm, and very put together space because I spend a lot of time in my bedroom working, doing schoolwork, um, filming, and all of that stuff. So I want it to feel good all around. And the office desk space is something that has not felt like me since I set it up. So that is what we're doing today. We are going to give it a little makeover and I'm super excited, so let's get started. Okay, so to give you guys a bit of a backstory on why I am setting up my space in a new way is because I started school and I also started a nine to five job or it's actually eight to four, but I'm basically working five days a week from Monday to Friday. I work in an office at an elementary school and so I have very specific time that I need to be getting work done and when I am doing my schoolwork it's basically after work so after 4 p.m. and that's typically when the rest of my family is home so I can't like go out into another space in the house and do my work in peace I have to be in my bedroom and I have found myself over the past two weeks going into other spots in the house to find something more comfortable and easier to work in than my desk because it's just super uncomfortable the way that it is. It's not set up in a super efficient way. I don't have enough desk space if I need to put papers down and like a notebook when I have my laptop on. So it just doesn't feel good to work in. And that's really important for me because obviously I do wanna be working in my bedroom. It's probably the quietest place that I can be. So that's why I'm going to be doing a little makeover. I'm gonna show you guys how it is right now. I actually switched around where the desk is right now but if you have watched previous vlogs and videos of my bedroom you know where it was originally so I will just explain that in the next little clip okay so I have not prepared anything for this video I'm just showing you it as it is so if you watched previous videos you would know that my desk was actually sitting this way so I would sit facing the window and this piece right here was actually vertically right here so that fit perfectly in this area but the issue with me is that this shelving unit is not efficient and it's just not the easiest to function with because as you guys can see i've got binders i've got notebooks i have a ton of paperwork that i can't put anywhere else and this plastic container as much as i love it it doesn't fit anything that is wider than eight and a half inches so it's just really not practical for me to hold my documents in there it also just fills up with clutter like I have a book in here that I already finished reading I have multiple notebooks it just continues getting messy and so I need to fix it because I'm just not happy with it the only thing I'm really happy with is my whiteboard right here I put this in in my last like office organization vlog but yeah, the rest of it is just not good for me. Um, I've got my makeup in here. As you guys probably know, I need to do a bit of a cleanup of this. It's looking a tad bit messy. And then I've got a little drawer compartment here for random office stuff. And it doesn't make sense. And you guys will notice that I'm going to say a lot of stuff doesn't make sense. And the reason why I'm saying that and what I'm basing it off of is because I started watching the home edit on Netflix and they are all about functionality and creating spaces that really flow and work with your lifestyle. This space does not work with my lifestyle. It does not work with how I function when I'm working. And so it needs to be changed. So I decided to flip my desk. Oh, I'm walking into the closet. I decided to flip my desk so that I would have more space lengthwise. I'm gonna get rid of this shelving unit and I'm actually gonna go to Ikea and get a filing cabinet drawer type of thing and it's gonna match the desk. It will be almost level to it. I think it's just like two inches shorter or something, but it's gonna look way better. I'm gonna have a place to put my files, better drawers to organize my pieces, and the whole space will just look much cleaner. So. 
that's what it's at right now and I think now we can go to Ikea just before I head out the door this is what I'm wearing new balances sweats and a long sleeve and one tip that I have when you are going to Ikea is to wear a fanny pack or some sort of belt bag that you don't actually have to carry. I find that it's difficult to balance a handbag, getting my wallet out, at checkout, and like having a ton of different things to carry. So a fanny pack or a belt bag is definitely very convenient. But my room is a mess and I'm tired so I just want to get this Ikea trip over with so that we can start setting up the office. We had to take the van because my car is definitely not big enough to hold stuff and I'm taking Allison as my little partner in crime. So we're gonna go to Ikea, maybe get some snacks. You're so quiet. What? <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay guys, I'm back from what felt like a wild goose chase. Basically, we went to Ikea. I got some organizers and I also got a stool. So that's great, but all of the filing cabinets that I had in my like wish list were sold out. I guess it's because everybody is like building home offices because everything is virtual now. But I got a bunch of stuff from Marshalls too. <laughs> I could still see you in the camera. <laughs> Allison says hi. Hi. <laughs> Um, but we went to Marshall's. I got some drawer organizers, which I'm really happy about. And I think I might steal my sister's desk. I'm gonna ask her to switch with me because she's got like a side cabinet that could potentially be used in the same way that I wanted to use the other one that I was gonna get. Either that or I'm gonna have to wait until Ikea gets the cabinet back in stock. And that could take weeks. And I don't really want to wait weeks. So I'm gonna see what I can do tonight and then I will update you guys tomorrow. Okay guys, I just figured out the solution. So first of all, I went into my sister's room to see if she had anything that was similar that I could maybe use for a while. She has the exact same cabinet that I wanted to buy and that was sold out. So I went down and asked her and she doesn't want to give it to me. So that's fine. But I found a new one. It's like a different type of style. Let me see if I can pull it up and show you guys. So it kind of looks, oh, that's really bright. Yeah, it looks like this. Um, so it is, let's wait till this brightens up. It is on wheels, but I think I'll try to put like some sort of block or something on the bottom of them so it doesn't roll around. Or I might keep the wheels, I don't know. I just don't love like the black on the white. Um, but that's available at a store that's a little bit farther away. So I'm gonna go tomorrow morning and pick that one up because it looks like there's four available at that store so fingers crossed that doesn't change i'm pretty sure they're closed now so it should be fine um but yeah i'm very excited happy about that and maybe i will be able to finish my office space tomorrow but i will talk to you guys soon okay good morning friends it is now sunday so i am headed out to ikea in Coquitlam, which is like 30 to 40 minutes away, um, but I'm gonna get there early just in case there's a line. There's four of the units that I want to get, so I'm hopeful that it will still be available when I arrive. Uh, but yeah, that's basically what we're doing this morning. And then I will come home, build the new little cabinet filing system and my stool, and then organize the entire space. Let's go. Okay guys, we secured the goods. I was literally in and out of Ikea in under 10 minutes, so that was great. I love that Ikea has like the aisles Amazing. and the bin numbers. I love that. Um, there's my podcast. Um, I love that Ikea's website has the aisles and the bin numbers already, so you can actually check before going into Ikea to save the time of going through like the showroom. Um, but the lineup to get in was so long. It was like a Disneyland ride line. So it was moving pretty quickly, but it was still, definitely like over a hundred meters long so just note that if you're local and you want to go to ikea but i'm gonna head home quickly now and start setting up the office okay so this is all of the organizational stuff that i got so these two bins are from ikea they're just simple drawer organizers. I really love them because they have dividers. I use these for my makeup drawer as well and they're just super, super handy. And then these ones are stackers, but you can also put them side by side in drawers. And I really like them too because they're clear, obviously, so you can always see what you have and it just looks really clean. I also got a bunch of these um, organizing bins. Let's see if I can open this. Struggling. 
um, and it comes in a variety of sizes so these are gonna be to organize my clothing that's not really part of this video but I also got um, new doorknobs for my closet but now I realize that these are actually for cabinets and my um, door for my closet is super thick obviously but these screws don't fit in so I'm gonna have to figure out a solution I also just painted the little marks on my door because it's wood and there were some dents showing so I cleaned that up and now I'm going to get started on building the stool and the little rolly cart file holder so I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay, you guys, we got one item down. This took so long to build because it had so many different pieces. Like I had to make each drawer individually. It has wheels on the bottom. I originally wasn't gonna put them on, but I think that it makes it more level with my desk, so that's great. Finally, I can get rid of the garbage in here and start building my stool. Okay, my stool is officially built. That one was definitely much easier and I like the way that it looks. I feel like I'm definitely moving more towards like black accents in my room and once Jer and I move out, that's definitely gonna be more of the color palette of our home. So I'm getting pieces now. I know I said that I wasn't gonna be spending more money at Ikea until I move out, but these are things that I can keep and use when we move out anyway. So I don't mind spending a bit of money right now. It wasn't too expensive. I think this one was 69 and I want to say this one was like 59 because it's got the adjustable up and down as well so it can be used in many different ways so I'm pretty stoked about that now what I'm gonna do is go through everything here pull it all out and put these new pieces in place and then I will start organizing my drawers All right, the area is set up. I am absolutely obsessed with how it looks. It actually looks like basically just an extension of my desk and I know that Ikea sells something exactly like this, um, but I had to obviously make do with what I could or, and what I already had. So now that that's set up, everything is cleaned, I am gonna go in and figure out which trays fit inside the drawers and then I will start putting my stuff back.
Okay, you guys, the desk area is done and I am so happy with how minimal it is. I tested out sitting on the stool and I have the perfect amount of space between the desk and the wall. Um, I'm obviously very small, so I don't need like a ton of space. And I feel like it just looks like it flows really well. They are perfectly aligned and I feel like all of my stuff is really organized now. So I already did like a bit of a montage for you guys, but I have all of these dividers in here and so it's just easy to see where everything is and I love that. It's going to keep it really clean and tidy. This one has the stuff that I use a little bit less. And then in the bottom drawer, I have just like my, my, and then in the bottom drawer, I just have my planner, a little notebook, um, and then these little motivation inspiration cards and my two pairs of glasses. I added in some legal hanging um, folders and all of my documents are now organized. I'm going to put tabs on them so I can read them better, but overall I'm really pleased with how it looks and I love that I can have this whole desk space clutter free and it's going to be so much easier to work in here. This is what I am left with. So I tested out these drawer inserts and they actually don't fit. They're too big for the specific cabinet that I got, but I'm glad that I had these clear ones because those ones turned out to be really helpful. I have so many storage compartments um, left, but I think I'm going to find some spots around the house to use them so that they don't go to waste. I do really love this. I actually might use this as my skincare container, so I'm going to go test that out right now, but I I think that is about the end of this video. And if you guys made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed it or found it helpful in some way. I know you guys really like these decluttering and organization videos, but I feel like I'm kind of at my limit now. I have a good amount of things and stuff in my bedroom, and I feel like I don't really need to declutter anything further until I get into, obviously, the spring and summer season next year. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below because I do still post on Mondays and Thursdays. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.